I'm here by myself and I don't have anyone to help me out with this stuff. Okay. And do we have volume? Can you guys give me um, some kind of a sign if you've got volume? Looks like we do. So we're gonna wait just a second. Okay, I see Pamela. Thanks for joining, Pamela. We're doing a dual video today on Instagram and on Facebook. So you guys are gonna have to like bear with me because I've never done this before. Uh, and we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna wait for a few more people to get on. We've got a really fun project to work on today. Um, a little bit about me is that I'm Deborah Booker with Deborah Booker Designs, and I uh, am a retailer, an elite retailer for Dixie Bell Paints and Roy Cycle Tissues and Would You Bend and Redesign with Prima. I have a shop in Phoenix at the Brass Armadillo and I have an online store also. Um, I've been uh, teaching classes for a lot of years and uh, I do two lives a week. I do a live on Tuesdays that is for furniture redesign and I do a live on every Wednesday um, that's a crafting project and both days it's at four o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Okay, so I'm going to start with our project today. Um, I picked up a set of these candles. These are the flameless candles. If you're just joining, say hello. And they're battery operated and a little tip is I got them, you can get them everywhere, but I got mine at um, Bed, I think it's Bed Bath & Beyond, and I had a 20% off coupon, and I bought several sets. I've done a lot of these, and then this set was just in the garage. And um, this is what happens when you live in Arizona, and it's hot in your garage, your candle kind of melts and gets warped, but it's gonna work just fine for what we're doing today. And this is an example. I did this one a couple of years ago, and this is done with a really cute napkin, and I just added some pearls to it and a little flower. Hi, Brenda, thanks for joining us. If you guys are just coming on, say hello. This is what I'm teaching today. I'm teaching how to do uh, using napkins on these candles. We're not using decoupage. We're not using any top coats. We're just using a cute little craft iron, just like this. And you can get these little irons at uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's To me, it's, well, actually not Michael's anymore. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. Hi, Brenda. Um, and I use them for regular decoupaging. These are really great to get into small areas and dresser drawers and corners and stuff like that. I also use my big iron, <clears throat> but these work really good too. So I'm going to put the cameras down so you can, you guys can see what I'm doing. Guys, I just had a, a little blurp there. Let's see, do I have you guys down good? I think so. Okay, yep, 
that looks like it's a good good spot all right so you can do this with any kind of napkins and I've picked up a few different styles to show you guys um, and like I said I got these candles these are the flameless let me turn this one on see how cute that is So this is, this is the project that we're doing today. I also did one earlier today because it's been a while since I've done it and I just wanted to make sure I knew exactly what I was doing. And so this is from a napkin that I picked up a package from in Buckingham Palace. Um, either Buckingham or Windsor, it was in both places so I can't really remember which one, but the reason why I picked it up is, you know, you can always decoupage with napkins and how cool is it to have something decoupaged with, this is the, the China pattern um, at the Royal Palaces. So I think it's pretty cute. I'm happy to have it. And then for today, we're gonna do uh, one of these pumpkins on one. And I'll just show you some of the other designs I picked up. I picked up this really cute package of uh, check with the lemons on it. That's a really popular thing these days. And then I already had a large package of this um, fall pattern, but I picked up a smaller one as well because that's a really good piece. Oh, is my sister on here? Hello, sister. Hi, Joan. Um, I think it was my sister that that told me how to do these candles in the first place. So that's funny you're on here. So this is a Mackenzie Child napkin. And there's Mackenzie Child uh, groups online and you can buy individual napkins. Now, they get pricey. It was $2.75 for this napkin and I bought a whole package of uh, 50 for $4.99 with 40% off. So, you know, but you can get some really pretty designs and I thought this would really be pretty on one of the candles. And I really love this one too and in case you guys are wondering i am like thinking about fall and christmas um you know when you're a creator you gotta think ahead and it's time even though it, you know it's 110 degrees outside i thought this and this these are all mckinsey child and i thought this was really a beautiful one too i really love the colors in this one so that's this is what we're working on today so you guys if you have any questions let me know cindy which pumpkin i just showed you two two pumpkins the last one or this one probably the mckenzie child since you're a mckenzie child person Thanks, Stacy. The fun thing is, is napkins are inexpensive and we can find them everywhere. And if you find, you know, Tuesday morning is a good place to go look for napkins. And I have this set of napkins also. And you know, the farmhouse and buffalo check is so popular. And that would be really cute on one of these candles too. And this works in your fall decor. So, you know, when you guys are out and about, just look for, for pretty napkins. So let's get started. I uh, think I'm going to start with, hmm, with this pumpkin one. And I already was checking it out and see my candle is melted and so it's a little oblong but that I, that doesn't bother me it has down here in the corner that this is a brother sister design studio and it's 2020 
So I'm going to use this corner over here. And the first thing you do with all of your napkins, and some are easier than others, but most napkins are three ply napkins. So you want to pull your plies off. You'll trade me some napkins for my, oh, the beauty boxes? I forgot all about those, Cindy. Yeah, I'll trade you some napkins, absolutely. Okay, so here's one ply, and there's usually three plies, and you can see, you can see the other ply on here and it's important to get them off. It's not easy, but it is important. Oh, cool. Well, you got a load to deliver to me anyway. It's time for us to meet at Garcia's for Chili Rianos. Oh yeah, we'll have to do that. Brad's coming. Our cousin Brad is coming. Are you guys like enjoying this family conversation? So uh, bear with me. I'm trying to get this other ply off of here. I can't imagine trying to do this if you didn't even have fingernails. Rosetta, we are decoupaging with napkins on candles, the flameless ones, you know, the ones that are operated with battery. That's what we're doing. And I'm separating the layers of tissue because napkins always have three layers and I'm having trouble getting this last layer off of here. Oh, got it. Okay, so napkins have three layers and can you see the difference here? See, you can still see the white on here and you wanna be able to see that pattern really clearly. I, I was moving this over here and I thought, ooh, I'm gonna get it in the flame, but they're flameless candles. So can you see this? I'm pulling off the last layer and you can see the pattern very clearly. That's how you know. And generally, uh, napkins usually have three layers. You know, the cocktail napkins that you get for parties and stuff, sometimes those are really cool. Okay, so I find that the best way is just to lay it on there and it's going to, I'm going to cut it right at that fold going across, which is a little bit more. Here's the fold. And that's a little bit higher than I need, but I can go back with my scissors and trim it. And so that's what I'm going to do. These are super fun to make, you guys, and you could do this with your kids or your grandkids. Especially if you're using one of these little craft irons. I wouldn't have my kids or grandkids doing it unsupervised, but um, they aren't handling a big hot iron. And you can do all of your decorating for all the holidays. Just buy a big thing of the candles and use your coupon. Okay, so... I'm going to, this end has the logo on it, so I'm using this end, and I know that it's not gonna wrap all the way around. So what I'm kind of thinking, you guys, it just, it just occurred to me. So if you can see here, 
it's not going to wrap all the way around and then we start to we get half of this pumpkin over here so I'm thinking what I might do in the case of this particular napkin is just fussy cut it And because I'm trying to do this quickly, I'm not going to be as fussy. You guys talk amongst yourselves while I do this. If there's any questions, Mike, would you read them to me? Yeah, um, Sherry wants to know where you got the napkins. Which one, Sherry? Which napkins are you re asking about? The one I'm cutting right now, I got this napkin at Hobby Lobby. And the ones that are McKinsey Child, there is a online group on Facebook that is a McKinsey Child napkin exchange. And so they'll, if you have McKinsey Child napkins, uh, because Min McKinsey Child puts them out in limited edition, so if you have napkins and you wanna trade, there are people that will trade with you. If you don't have napkins and you wanna purchase, um, then they'll let you pay per napkin. And they do get pricey, you guys. The ones I showed you earlier that were McKinsey Child, I paid $275 a napkin for them. Um, but, you know, I think I've, I've never bought McKinsey Child napkins. And it's not likely that I ever will. I won't say never, but that's a little pricey for me to wipe my lips off and my hands off with because I think they're about $25 a package. And that's why they all swap with each other so that you can have a larger selection of them. And the McKinsey Child ones are really pretty. No doubt about it. Okay, we're almost done here, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna move that aside. So this is what I have right here. So I'm going to, I'm putting it on the flat side. Like if you guys are tuning in late, you'll hear that I left these candles out in the garage for a year. And of course I live in Arizona, so it's pretty stinking hot out there. And they have melted and warped, but I still think they're pretty cute. So I've just laid it around the front of the, the candle, and I'm really glad I cut it out because I think that's gonna look really cute. And so I have this little craft iron, and you can get these at Hobby Lobby. Um, I can't tell you what aisle, I always have to, they're in the same aisle, but I always have to ask somebody to show me which aisle because it's just an odd thing to be looking for. And there's wax on these candles, so you take this little iron and you just lightly lay the iron on your candle and it melts that layer of wax and completely adheres this paper to your candle. The one with the little bunny that's all decorated, um, I did her two years ago and she's just as cute today as she was when I did her. Cynthia says that uh, they have sales a few times a year and that's when she buys them. The McKinsey, um, the McKinsey napkins. I think they've got sales going on right now. There's something about McKinsey that's a barn sale because I see all the um, savvy, 
the Czech Savvy ladies, they're all, they're all really into McKenzie, and they're all talking about the barn sale. Okay, you guys, this one is literally done. Now, what I did on this little bunny here is I dolled her up with some pearls and put a little flower and I wrapped twine around the bottom of her. And I think wrapping some twine around the bottom of this one would be really cute too. So what do you guys think? Are you surprised how easy this is? If you like this project, give me some hearts. Show me some love. And I know that there's lots of people who decoupage these using Mod Podge. Um, this is so much easier. I love it. So it just needs a battery in it and it's good to go. So I'll set these napkins aside and I'll use them for another project. Okay. So you guys tell me what one you wanna see next. Do you wanna see this pumpkin? Or, and just, just type it in, pumpkin. Or this cute little elf with the holly. Or, I think this is really pretty. This is a hand towel. And it's uh, holly and the McKenzie check. So you guys tell me what you want to see. The holly? Everybody wants to see the holly? Okay. That's what we'll do. That would have been my vote too, you guys. So... I want to get a candle that is gonna go all the way up to the top. And this assortment of candles, there's all different sizes, which is pretty cool. This is gonna be so pretty, you guys. And it's going to go all the way around and we'll just butt it up on the other side. So this will be, this will work out really well. So again, you have to pull all your layers of your napkin apart, and there's always three layers. This is probably the hardest part of the whole project. Yeah, one gal mentioned that you might use tape. Oh, all right, well, let me try that. I usually have tape just sitting here. Oh, here's some. What a good suggestion, you guys. Well, that worked really well on the first one. Who made that suggestion? Well, whoever made that suggestion, you're a genius. Thank you. Okay, that was so much easier, you guys. So thanks for the tape tip. Hi, Terry. Yeah, that's the one. Thanks for that, Terry. That was awesome. Okay, so this candle is, I'm just going to cut along the top here. And it's going to be longer than it needs to be, but this will just make things easier. So if you guys came in late, I'm Deborah Booker 
with Deborah Booker Designs. I have a shop, a booth at the Brass Armadillo in Phoenix, and I have an online store, and the link is up at the top if you're on Facebook. And these all come with a plastic um, wrapper on them, so I'm just cutting that wrapper off. I do two lives a week. I do a live every Tuesday and every Wednesday. Tuesday is furniture redesign, and Wednesdays are fun crafts. And it's always the same time, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So you guys, I always put uh, an event in Facebook, and I put one today in Instagram, because I've never done Instagram before, not a live, so I was just trying to figure it out. But I would love it if you would like my Facebook page, which is at the top of the Facebook live. All my links are up at the top. So I want this to overlap just a tiny bit. And so I'm just going to mark where I'm gonna cut right on that little check. This is so pretty. And I'm gonna save this little piece. You can decoupage it on anything. It doesn't have to be on a candle. You can decoupage it on a multimedia piece. So again, my candles are all wonky from being in the garage. Don't do that, especially if you live in Arizona. So I'm going to go ahead and put the iron down on this and just secure it. And you, you guys, um, some napkins are more delicate than others. And this one seems to be extremely delicate. This one was really delicate and I did have it tear in one, one little spot. You can't even tell now. I don't even know where it was, but um, just be careful when you're doing it. Don't put a lot of pressure on it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lay this one over the top. And really, you can just pat it down. And it's, it's adhered. So I'm gonna get the camera up close so you guys can see this, and I'll do it in both cameras. So I'm just gently laying the iron and just going up and down with it. And there's a thin layer of wax on these candles. And that's why it allows us to do this. It looks like I have like a wrinkle going over here. So I'm gonna tack it down. So on the other one that I did, I did it as I was going around, and I think that's better than tacking it down on one end, just FYI. Not FOY. I don't know what FOY is. And if you didn't hear me say, you can get these little 
craft irons. Um, I used to tell people they use their 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby, but they discontinued those coupons. So just be sure you just buy it on a week because every other week everything's 40% off anyway. Um, Cindy makes a very good point. Yes. Make sure you perch, purchase um, the wax battery candles because there are others that have zero wax. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Good point. Um, I think I still have my packaging. I'll take a look at it in a second. I may have known that when I bought these and you know, I've slept a few nights since then, so. Okay, so I'm just trimming with the scissors around this top, getting it as close as I can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so it's a little raggy around the top, and so I'm just gonna take the iron and just iron it down. Super easy. And if there was no wax, you'd be screwed. Yeah, you need the wax. So these are flameless, and they do have a coating of wax, and I'll find my box here in a minute and see what it says so you guys know. Um, you see these everywhere, so it shouldn't be hard to find. And it's something that's available all year long, so you can do this for virtually any occasion. Anytime you just find a pretty napkin, go for it. So I'm just looking at spots that aren't translucent, because once it's been... Um, adhered, it becomes very translucent. What setting is your iron on? These little craft irons don't have a setting. You just plug them in. If you were using um, like your household iron, you would want it on the lowest setting. I think that's silk. I use these little craft irons for decoupage on trays and furniture, inside dresser drawers. I have a bunch of them because I use them in classes all the time. So let me see if I have a battery here. I'm anxious to see what this one looks like. Did you take the box out by any chance? Huh. I don't know what I did with it. Crazy. Okay, so I'm going to... These little candles have a, a little screw in them. And I'm just gonna take that little screw out so I can put a battery in here and show you guys how stinking cute these are. Just talk amongst yourselves, you guys. Terry says you can use wax paper if they are plastic, if you're using the iron technique. Well, that's good to know. It's so nice to have a community of artists. And if one person doesn't know, somebody else does. So thank you so much for sharing that. Well, I thought they heard you. Oh. I talk quiet. Okay. I'm a little bit on the blind side, so I'm just trying to figure out which side the batteries go on. Uh, 
Um, okay, I'm going to screw it back in. So that's really good to know if you accidentally find, pick up some that don't have the wax on them using wax paper, would definitely work. Okay, you guys, this is honestly my favorite. I think that is so pretty. And you set it in, you know, some greenery and little miniature pine cones, maybe a cardinal sitting on the wreath around it. That's really pretty. I love that. Okay, so we got a little time. We can do one more. Hi, Jan. Thanks for joining us. You can always go back and watch the replay uh, and see how we started. Stacy, I have one of those craft irons with the long handles and um, they work just fine. They do exactly the same thing. So you guys, Terry is the one that said you can use wax paper if they are plastic and they don't have the wax on them uh, and use the iron on technique. So there you go, you guys. Lots of good sharing information. So if you didn't want to be working on something that is holiday right now, I think this check pattern with the lemons is super pretty. So let's open this up and take a look at this one. Your sister says, Yes, they do. I went by there today. I wasn't looking for the candles because I already had these and, you know, I didn't realize that they were a little cattywampus. Well, that was from your sister. I saw. Um, but I did get these napkins at Home Goods and what else? I think this is the only napkin I bought at Home Goods. They didn't have any sales going on today, which was disappointing. Usually Home Goods has really good sales. I did get some really cute stuff, you guys. Wait till you see it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna preview it today because it's all stuff going into the booth. Um, but some really cute. Oh, this is awesome. Whoever gave the tip to use the tape, this pulled off both layers and were right down. So if you're just tuning in on napkins, there's always three layers uh, of tissue that you need to pull off to get to the layer you want to decoupage. And one of our followers here said to use a piece of tape to pull that up because it's really hard to, to get them pulled off. That was awesome. Thank you so much for that tip. Okay, I think these lemons on the check are so cute. I don't know which size candle. This one works just perfect, I think, and I'm going to... And these candles, this particular set has a remote control that comes with it, so you guys can just use your little remote control and... Okay, I'm going to cut here. So if you guys have ever done this before, and it sounds like some of you have, Give me a thumbs up. And if you think this is a fun project that somebody else would enjoy learning how to do, I would really appreciate it if you would share it. These are all wrapped up in like a plastic protector. So be sure you cut that off.
you guys are the best. I had somebody on yesterday's video give me an angry face, and she's done it to me two or three times now. And the first time, I just thought, oh my, that must have been a mistake. I certainly didn't recall saying anything to offend anyone. Hey, Lisa, I would love to see you try it out and post it on my Facebook page. Share with everybody else when you, uh, all of you, when you're working on your furniture projects or your craft projects, I would love it if you would go on my page. There's a spot for visitors to post what they are working on or if you have questions. It's inspiration and helps build confidence for, for people who are nervous about trying things. So it's really awesome when you guys do that. But anyway, somebody did three, two or three times now give me angry face, and that really messes up your algorithms because Facebook thinks you're doing something wrong or inappropriate. So I gave her the benefit of the doubt the first time, but I blocked her after yesterday. All right, this is being really difficult to get this plastic off of here. There, we got it. Finally. Um, yeah, can you take that off, Cindy? Because that any time that gets uh, put on there, then... Um, Facebook thinks I'm doing something inappropriate. So delete that post, please. I've seen them, I think there are people that just do that. I've seen them do that on brand ambassadors as well and oh my goodness, they sure get ticked off about it. Okay, so I'm gonna tack this down on this end. And this time, instead of wrapping it all around, all the way around, I'm going to just put it, tack it down as I'm rolling it along. Get it all tacked. You don't have to use, um, parchment paper when you're doing this. that fold I think that fold is what messes it up when you just wrap it all the way around because this time it's working out really well My paper got a little off kilter, so I'm carefully, I mean really carefully, because this is really thin paper, trying to lift it back up again to get it aligned right. So I'm reheating it. And then gently, gently, ever so gently lifting it back up again. Okay. Now let's see if I can get it realigned. Okay. 
Well, it's not perfect, you guys, but it's off a little bit at the top. And you remember before I cut it off with extra, and this never happened to me. This one I cut off right at the top. So it could have been in the paper, the print on the paper. So my advice is cut off at the top with extra. I love these lemons. I love the lemons with the black check. I think that's just such a pretty design. And I'm gonna cut off this edge. I want this whole lemon to show. Hi, Kay. Hi, Jan. If I missed questions that you haven't gotten an answer, just know that um, every time I'm done with a video, I go back and answer everybody's questions. If you're watching this on a replay, please type in pound replay so that I know you've been here. I appreciate that so much. It's always really cool when I see my friends come back and watch. And so any places you guys see where there's white places on here, that's where um, the first time going around, it didn't get heated and attached. It's real easy to spot. So I'm just going back around and making sure I don't have any white, white spots. And I'm being really gentle with this iron. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. The wax that's on here isn't real thick, so I don't wanna have a big melted wad of it. Carol, it is fun. This is a really fun, non-stress, Terrific result, relatively inexpensive, especially if you use your coupons to buy your candles. Because Bed Bath & Beyond has their 20% off coupon for darn near everything. And there you go. So let me get some batteries for this one. And again, if you set these in a wreath, how cute would that be? Um, I like to set them on little silver trays. I'll look here in a minute and see if I have any. Um, I pick them up all the time at the Goodwill. And sometimes they're for sale in my shop. Um, I have a saying that if you love it, put it on a silver tray. That's my own personal saying. Because I love, I love anything that's made of silver. Okay. be that difficult people okay so you guys if you do like um, it, you know Christmas exchanges and stuff like that if you did a set of matching candles that would be really pretty gosh that is pretty you guys 
I really love it. It, sh it just glows through that whole candle. Um, let me see if I have a silver tray. Some are polished, some are not, but like I have a whole stack of them, you guys. So look at this really pretty. This is um, Gorham Crystal. And look how pretty that is in a crystal dish. Super pretty on a silver dish. I love these. I like that they're bold like that. Let's do with sprigs of holly around it or sprigs of pine. Look at this fancy bunny. And remember, you can always put twine on the bottom of these candles too. So I think, or, you know, wrap a ribbon around it, but I think particularly on this one, wrapping um, a few rows of twine around it would be super cute. I love this napkin. Okay, so does anybody have any um, questions? Carol, that is napkins. Um, we used, you know, I went, I ha some of them are McKenzie Child, and on Facebook, hi Evangeline, um, on Facebook, there's a Facebook group that is a McKenzie Child Napkin Exchange. And so those people all have uh, different napkins for McKenzie Child, and they're willing to swap or sell. So you can find that group. If you can't find it, um, private message me, and I will get a link out to you. Um, Okay, Cynthia wants them all displayed, so let me get them all, all out here. Has this one got a battery? Well, darn it, I didn't put a battery in this cute pumpkin one. Then we got these little silver trays are really pretty. And you guys, I get all of these at the Goodwill. And this one's real silver, not plate. It's, it's heavy. But even the plate ones are pretty. Cindy, I don't know if you were tuned in yet, but this is um, the napkin from Buckingham Palace. And this is the Royal China pattern. And when I bought them, I knew I was gonna use them for decoupage. So can you guys see? If you love them, give me hearts. Lots of hearts, you guys. Turn the pumpkin around, please. Okay, does that good? I need to get that pumpkin lit up. It's too cute not to be lit up. I'm one short of being able to light up this pumpkin, but on this pumpkin napkin, um, I got that at, I picked this up today at Hobby Lobby. It's a really pretty napkin. And what I did, I did is I cut it in half and because it wasn't going to wrap around the whole candle nicely I was going to end up with half of a pumpkin again so I just fussy cut around it and left this wood part down here on it 
and put it on the candle. And I think that's really pretty. And I like the color of the candle. It's not white, it's more like a cream tone. And I think with a few rows of um, burlap around it, that would be really pretty. So sometimes you just have to think about it, you know, just lay it out on your candle. And like this package of candles came in different sizes, taller ones, shorter ones. Uh, Jan, rice paper would work. That would work just fine. Rice, any of your tissues. So if you've got scraps of decoupage tissue, that would work. I'm gonna pull the camera up here, you guys. I left my cabinet door open here. Um, and let me get this one up. Hi, everybody over here on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. So, you guys, um, let me see what questions. Yes, rice paper works. If you have, because I have lots of scraps of decoupage tissue, and you could just use up those scraps for this. Um, if you uh, have rice paper, I love working with rice paper, and Dixie Belle has some beautiful designs. Um, Oh, Sherry, thanks so much. It's so hot in here in my house today. It was like, I can't stand to have it down today. So thanks. Um, so the, the rice paper works great and the napkins work great. And if you had a fabric design, that would work really well too. Um, so, you know, I would love it if you guys would grab some candles and use whatever you have on hand, whatever appeals to you. If you would just do a few of these and then go back over on my Facebook page and the link is up at the top and on Instagram, I will put my link on there for you. And if you would just post it so everybody can see because we're gonna be blown away at how creative everybody is. So you guys, if you don't have any more questions, um, and if you do have questions and I missed answering it, I will go back and answer it. So thanks so much. Join me every Tuesday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And uh, you guys have a great evening. Bye.